another vlog. Welcome if you're new. Today's vlog is going to be probably just the grocery haul vlog, but I'm probably going to have a little day in the life in on this one. The vent's got my eyes watering. Um, if you've been around for a little bit, we've been getting over getting sick. This is now the second week, so we're finally well. Just occasionally a little bit of sniffles and stuffiness, but finally like well enough to go out. So I'm actually going to go into the grocery store this week and get our stuff. I was going to do a pickup order, but I decided to go in. So I'm headed that way now, and then I'm trying to decide if I want to like not to buy anything but we woke up and it's 55 it's rainy it's dreary it's like holiday feeling so I'm trying to decide if I want to like run in Hobby Lobby or something just to look around so I might do that today I know a lot of the stores have like completely all their Christmas stuff out and everything and I'm just so ready for all that I'm planning I think this upcoming week um like that's my plan I'm pretty sure because it'll be November to just go ahead and decorate Willow's room because like the rest of the house I don't want to do this early but I think she will enjoy her tree and stuff the only thing I need for her room is I need one little piece of garland so I might would buy that because I know theirs are about eight to ten dollars so um and I'm gonna do the Walmart grocery haul when we get home we're stocking up for Thanksgiving stuff a little at a time so stay tuned for that probably at the very end of this vlog So immediately walking in the door at our Walmart, since it has been a little over two weeks since I had been inside, they had finally gotten all of their Christmas stuff out. They had books and things right in the doorway and toys and stuff like that. And I wanted to look at the Christmas stockings and see what they had. I love these little lights right here. I've always wanted them, but never bought them. It's not too bad of a price, but I just love them. Um, but I was looking at the stockings and things because I have a plan this year that I want to do Willow a little Christmas stocking. Now that she's getting a little older, she is definitely noticing Christmas and she loves gifts and things. So what I actually love is I've seen where people do like a Christmas Eve box, mainly like with older kids, and they just have snacks, a new pair of pajamas, a new movie, a book, something like that, and it's just like a tradition that on Christmas Eve that you do those things together that night, and I'm like, I'm all for that kind of stuff. I have vivid memories of things my mom done for my sister and I growing up, and it was like the little details like that that meant the most. So, um, I definitely want to do that with her as she gets older. So I think for this year, since she's still very little, I'm going to focus on getting her a stocking with like a few little, you know, candy and little toys and stuff like that. That would be exciting and let her open that on Christmas Eve. And then we're going to get her like some books and DVDs and learning things for her actual Christmas present. So that's what I was looking at. And then of course she saw a Daniel Tiger Christmas book. That's what she just dropped and she had to have it. I had to have this little gingerbread mug. I've been looking for one forever, but refused to pay more than about $5 for one. I would have gotten the snowman one. It's so cute, but I already had a snowman one. So I got the gingerbread one. They had tons of bakeware and just lots of really bright Christmassy looking items. It is really cute if you're looking for that kind of stuff. Definitely check out Walmart. The prices were not too bad considering. And I kept laughing because Willow insisted that we take her Caillou in Walmart with us. So I always joke and say I have my grandchild <laughs> with me. But he had a ride in the buggy next to her.
So totally random, but I just thought I would throw this out there <laughs> because I see a lot of specifically like YouTube moms and people doing decorating and stuff on their channel. They seem sometimes like they get a lot of hate with starting Christmas stuff early. And I'm one of the ones that's you do you. If you want to put a Christmas tree up in February because it makes you or your family happy, go for it. It's your home. Do what makes you happy. Personally, I actually like to wait till Thanksgiving night and Black Friday to start my Christmas decorating and such, but in the YouTube world, we have to get a jump on things, and I've just started to realize how much goes into the editing and stuff, and with Vlogmas coming up in a few months and everything, that's going to be a big thing to take on, so I'm just trying to get a jump on things. I'm not skipping Thanksgiving. Hey, y'all. I'm back home from Walmart, so um, my mother-in-law is actually going to go to Hobby Lobby with me. I don't know what it is about Hobby Lobby. I feel like you have to go with a buddy. I mean, I got Willow. She's my little sidekick, but um, I don't know. Every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I just always like going with someone else. Anyways, back home with the grocery haul. I also, I'm going to try to remember, I finally put, um, if you watch my mobile home porch decorate with me, I had a little white table that sits on my porch, and it was kind of like moldy mildew on top where the moisture build up, had built up, so I painted it and um, set it back out on my porch it like it needs more pumpkins more mums all that but we're so close to even Christmas decor and I'm not spending more money on that so I just set it up like it was and then at the end of our trailer I put um I have sunflower like metal yard stakes I've had them for like five years I put those out and then put three little scarecrows out so I'm gonna try to remember when I leave to get a, uh, a little clip for y'all um I don't even know if I explained that. I'm all over the place trying to hurry up and get this done. But I came home with the groceries to put these up. I'm going to put the cold stuff up. Willow's taking her nap. And then going to leave out and go look at Hobby Lobby. So, I didn't go there yet. I don't know where I was going though. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. So, this is our haul for the week. Um, I'm still doing my Thanksgiving stock up. So, I guess this is kind of like a series on my channel. Because I buy a little at a time. And I know y'all see the Christmas stuff popping through. I'm so excited about it. But just quick little haul. This will probably be a longer vlog for those of you that like that. So this was at Walmart. This is all Walmart, by the way. Um, they have like a dollar, uh, not a dollar. They have a bin with DVDs for three seventy four, and this was like a winter Christmas one. So I want to get Willow a few random little things. I want to make her like a stocking for Christmas, and then like a good box of gifts. So I think that's gonna go okay then. I think that's going to go in her present box. And then I saw these cute little Grinch kisses things. My niece is obsessed with the Grinch, like the little Dr. Seuss book. And um, so I got one of each of these for my niece and my nephew. These little things sell out fast at our Walmart. And they already have like all the Halloween candy. Not that I was looking for that, but they have all that gone. And now they've got Christmas out. And I got this one for Willow in her stocking. She loves M&M's. They had little snowmen this week. They were, these were only 98 cents, so I got two of them. Willow saw this little <laughs> bunny that's so adorable, and she said, Mama, my bunny, I need it. So it's kind of funny because I think I'm going with a little blush pink. I guess it's like the typical little girl room, kind of ballerina pink color. I got this little pick to go on top of her tree. It was like $1.98. I'm thinking of doing that next week. I think I mentioned that earlier. Then I got this little snack mix thing. I thought it was really cute. I want to do, like, during Vlogmas, I want to have, like, a movie night and stuff. And it was only, like, a dollar something. It has peanut butter filled characters, pretzels, and peanuts. I only got one. Y'all pardon my voice. Um, we're getting over. Well, we're done being sick, thankfully. But I went outside. Now I'm sniffling. Um, I got two of these pans. This is the 13 by 9. I need bigger ones for my Thanksgiving dressing. But I figure there's something I can use this for. They're already selling out, and they're just so hard to get at our store. And then I got some hangers. Y'all, hangers are insane. I was paying $0.98 cents for, like, the 12 to 18 packs just a few years ago. This 18 pack was $3, so I did not like paying that. Got some celery. I'm going to share, like, a chicken pot pie with puff pastry. Maybe this upcoming week, I'm hoping, on my channel. Got some matchstick carrots. I also think I want to do potato soup. I might do that tomorrow. Um, I have to remember what all goes in hours, but I need carrots for that. I love bagel thins for breakfast. This is like my favorite breakfast the past probably two months. And Willow sometimes will eat half one of these. You need a dishwashing detergent. They literally had one left, so I got it. The big pumpkin is from last week's grocery order. Um, I'm going to let Willow paint it. 
I love this right here. I mentioned this, I think last week's order, but it's under 500 calories for the whole package. And there's several nights that I eat that for dinner when Michael's eating something I don't want to eat. And then I got this. This one's new. I think I haven't seen it. I wanted to try it. Lately, I've been, just since being sick, I feel like I'm craving like Gatorade type stuff. And I wanted the blue one and this one, but they only had that one. So I got it. Got one can of pineapple to replace the one we used this week. One can of peaches to replace the one we used. Michael's fudge rounds. He always gets little Debbie each week. Um, Willow, some of the fudge stripe cookies. Sometimes we eat a few of these, but there's not as many in the packages anymore. And that's just something that she likes that I can give her one for a treat. Usually after dinner. This is a sliced cheese we like. Oh, um, by the way, I don't think I mentioned... <laughs> It probably doesn't look like it, but if you've been around the past two vlogs, I had mentioned that um, our refrigerator went out. We found another one. So this looks a lot like the other one, except for the handles are a little different. The inside is a little different, but we got it last night and set it up. I've been so busy this week. Um, my vlogs, I've been like like cutting it so close to premiere time on it. Actually, I've got to finish some details on the one I got now that goes up in three hours. Um, anyways, so we got a new fridge. It's not much to show it just looks the same i do need to buy some like touch-up paint there's some rough spots but for the most part we got it this was on um facebook marketplace but we got it from there and we got a good deal on it there was no way we were buying a new one and last night i literally just spent an hour cleaning it i wish it had the clear drawers like our other one but it's fine. Um, I cleaned it and then I just stuck everything in here. I need to do like fridge organization. Let me know if that's a vlog y'all would like to see. I would also like to eventually get like decals for the front of my drawers to mark them. Anyways, I said that because there's some things that we did not have because I was just keeping bare minimum in the fridge. Um, I got this little mug. I've wanted a gingerbread mug. I don't know why for so long and I have snowman ones that are like 10 years old. But Walmart had these and it has like the perfect handle. And what sold me was it's microwave and dishwasher safe. And I feel like most of these normally aren't. So I got that. I think it was $5. Almost didn't get it because I always feel guilty buying myself something. But my plug in the living room ran out. This was cheaper than buying just the one plug and they didn't have it in the other. So I got the apple cider because I thought that's kind of fall and easing into Christmas scent. This is probably for... Um, a soup recipe I, I think I think Michael likes putting this on potato soup so that's probably what that's for Willow and I both have been eating tomatoes a lot and I shared a short and also in Friday's vlog I shared um I've been making like a tomato mozzarella kind of panini style sandwich and it's just so good it's just something different got her some blueberries I got two avocados one is ripe enough I can eat tomorrow I've been craving like avocado toast and sandwiches with it on it and then I got another that's not quite ready. I showed this in the store. They had marked down the Better Than Bouillon onion and garlic, but they only had the onion. And I think it was like 60% like off, so I grabbed one of those. They had wax milks marked down. That was a mouthful. My sister and I both love this one year round. So I got her two, and I got me two. They smell really good. And then they had one of these. This is the best, like, basic scent. I mean, it will fill your house. If you ever see this, try it. They only had one. I was going to get one for her too, but... I think I'm going to be stingy. That one's for me. <laughs> I got some hummus. I really only like the roasted red pepper or one time I tried a brownie batter one that was pretty good. The pecans I also showed for some reason these were on sale. So I would have bought more, but um, because we bought the fridge, we were like cutting it on our groceries a little more this week. So I only got the two. This is for making pecan pie at Thanksgiving or sometimes my mother-in-law makes it and I don't make one just so we don't have too much and um also I need this for my sweet potato casserole which I got two bags of sweet potatoes for I'm gonna share that I actually prep the sweet potato part freeze it and then I do the pecan topping the day of Thanksgiving so I'm gonna share that on my channel probably within another week or so because I don't know why it just comes out so much better to make that part ahead and freeze it so um, I might use those aluminum pans for that because I don't know if I have any others. Also, I got some mini sweet peppers to dip in the hummus. Um, Michael and I have been taking D3 for about a year now. It's just good for immunity, especially with all the stuff going around. And it says um, it's good for like bone and teeth health. And since having Willow, I've had some dental issues. So I'm just trying to be preventative. We needed some more. And I got like $2 back on Ibotta for this chatty grocery vlog again speaking of ibotta i always include my um i can put my code here on the screen or you can go to the description and click the link if you sign up you can save money on literally any purchase i have it 
pretty much just for my Walmart groceries because like there will be things pop up each week on there like buy this item get two dollars back buy this item um get this item free whatever and i had some subscribers tell me about it and i had been putting off trying it for years and i regret doing that because i could have saved so much but like today i had or the other day i had like 30 dollars. it was like 28 something and um i turned in for a walmart gift card and so today i just took a screenshot of that gift card on the screen and then had the lady like put it in at the register you just scan the barcode so i saved 30 dollars on my groceries today which helps so much so definitely go check that out if you haven't i think i think if you use my code you might get like a an additional bonus i'm not sure i don't want to say you do but i think you get a bonus for signing up using my code and i think i get a bonus but um i'm not quite sure I would have to check on that, but my link is in the description. I love it. I'm so excited. Every time I see I save some, I saved $2 on these today and I already had to buy them. So that was great. I showed y'all when I was walking through the frozen area where the fries were at, they have been out of fries. I don't know if there's like a potato shortage or what. So I got the only ones they really had tonight. We're going to have, um, Jack's pizza. This is actually like our favorite frozen pizza brand right now. Um, we're just not impressed with many. We like the pepperoni, but I got the bacon cheeseburger and then i got one of these we don't like the market side pizzas but the flatbread one specifically this one is really good so this is dinner and i actually need to go ahead and put that in our freezer these rolls um are already selling out people are prepping which good for them but we eat these at um thanksgiving for some reason one year i ran out of time i wanted to make homemade and couldn't and i got these and the taste just I don't know it just went really well with the thanksgiving food so my family's coming over thanksgiving day and my mom's bringing or well, she was bringing the rolls but she couldn't get them on her grocery order so we just decided i would pick them up she'd give me the money for them keep them in the freezer here and then she wouldn't have to bring them over so um we got enough that we would have extra from like leftovers if they want to take some home or we want extra then um, i got three cans of evaporated milk i use this in um i think pumpkin pie and then sweet potato casserole and then my dressing recipe so i got three more willow always asked me for fishy crackers <laughs> so i got these we were getting close to the cookie aisle and she was like telling me over and over mama chocolate cookies so she was so excited i let her have a bag of these in the store i got her those and those are a really good deal so don't hate on great value products they taste pretty good too i needed a phone charger i've been having issues trying to get my phone charged and just vlogging a lot editing a lot got a 15 pack of the pepsi max it's still or i think they call it pepsi zero now still the best deal drinks are so expensive now speaking of drinks i literally squealed on the aisle and then turned around to see if anyone heard me they have the winter spice cranberry and the zero i think this yeah they're both are they both zero yeah they're both zero i was so excited these they were like six bucks but there was only four so I got two. I'm going to go ahead and drink one, but I'm going to save one for closer to Thanksgiving. This is literally my favorite like carbonated drink in the world. I don't know why. I love cranberry. Willow needed more teething, wafer, rusk, whatever. Got another pack of the diapers. I feel like I jumped all over the place. Some pie crust. I have some apples that are kind of going bad. So I'm going to just go ahead and prep a apple pie. I do mine like the quick way. I don't do it super homemade. The um, filling is but I'm going to prep one and freeze it because I always keep like one towards Thanksgiving because we have my family's Thanksgiving and then we have, you know, if we want it at our house and then with Michael's family and you just never know. So I always have one of these in the freezer towards then. I needed green, green onions for something. I'm talking too fast. <laughs> Celery. I think I showed that. And then, yeah, I showed all this too. So that is all that we got for this week and for continuing the Thanksgiving stock up actually i'm wrong this was sitting in the front door when we came in and willow said mama you see daniel tiger so of course she had to get this so that was the only other thing so now um got friendly tv i have a subscription to it because i record the programs where i don't have to watch all the commercials and stuff but um hallmark countdown to christmas is going if you're into that i'm sure you know that but i've got one of those going and i've got the window open and now I'm going to go get my phone or my charger and charge my phone and finish putting the rest of the cold stuff up, get Willow up, and then supposed to meet up with my mother-in-law at Hobby Lobby. So I'll probably vlog then. In the car now, headed to Hobby Lobby, and I'm trying to remember to actually show y'all the decor at the end of the road or at the end of our trailer.
So I think I mentioned at the start of this vlog, the main thing that I was wanting to look for was a strand of garland for Willow's room. I've gone back and forth. My theme for Christmas in my home, like living room, bathrooms, bedroom, all that has pretty much always been like colorful, red, white, and green, gingerbread, peppermint mixed in, all that kind of stuff. I just love the traditionals. But in Willow's room, I think I'm going to go with like the blush pink and white with some color mixed in. I just think it looks really sweet in the little girl's room. I really love all of the peppermint and gingerbread stuff and thought I was going to do that in her room. But I think I'm going to do hers a little bit different to make it a little special just for her. I did end up finding a garland here that I love for her room. So stick around and I will show that when I decorate. I think I'm going to work on that maybe this upcoming week and share it. And I will wait to decorate everything else. But I'll definitely vlog it and show you guys on my channel comment below and let me know what your Christmas decor theme is and when you normally decorate I personally like to decorate the night of Thanksgiving but YouTube and mom life means I gotta get a jump start on this don't worry we're not skipping over Thanksgiving I will definitely be sharing recipes and Thanksgiving prep within the next week or so and throughout the month of November I will share um, our family traditions, how I cook our meals, what I like to do to prep, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not skipping Thanksgiving, I promise. I love Thanksgiving. I love Christmas. I love all of it. But stay tuned and come back on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will see you guys then. Bye.